Twitter can be a useful place when it comes to finding early adopters for your startup. A lot of entrepreneurs and creators have given it credit as one of the best places to find early customers. If you're one of those people trying to use Twitter to find early customers or users, you probably want to know who is following you in a more detailed manner. This way, you actually know who is following you and can tailor content to them. Thankfully, tools like Airtable and Zapier can help you analyze your audience on Twitter as you are building it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Airtable, Zapier, and Twitter together so you can analyze who is following you in real time. Before we jump into all of the tools though, if you'd like to follow along with the same exact Airtable base that I'll be using, you can grab a copy of it using the link down below. To get started, here we are in Airtable and it's pretty simple. We only have one table and there's only seven columns here in Airtable. Now the main reason why is that Twitter actually doesn't give you that much information on your followers. and That's probably a good thing for privacy reasons. But even just having this limited information within Airtable and in one place is still useful because especially if you're using Airtable for maybe other parts of your operations, maybe like your event calendar or your personal to-do list are living in Airtable, you can have everything in one place rather than like, hey, here's things in, on the Safari or on your Chrome, like everything's everywhere. If the more you can bring into Airtable itself, it does make your life a little bit easier because there's less clicks. So. Here we are in Airtable, and now we're gonna actually start shifting over to actually importing some of that information of your Twitter following from Twitter itself into Airtable. So to do that, what we wanna do is actually jump into Zapier. So we'll go to Zapier, and you can see here, I am here to help create a new Zap. So to add an app event, what I'll do is hit Twitter here. I'll select Twitter. And what I want it to do is when a new follower hits. So I'll select new follower. I'll choose my own Twitter account. They've already pre like linked up. I'll hit continue. And then you can do this with other, maybe it's like a big profile you want to look through. So maybe it's like you're kind of seeing what other maybe influencers or maybe other media publications are seeing and see who's following them. And maybe you want to engage with those kind of people, but that feels a little scammy to me. So I'm just going to do it myself in this instance. So I'll do Matthew Gyra. And it'll refresh. And I'll hit continue there. So then it's gonna test it to make sure we can actually see who's following me. Awesome, so we found Aaron Kornblit. If you don't know Aaron, you should definitely go follow him. He has automated all the things on YouTube. He's definitely really great. I'll put a link to his channel down below. But you can see he followed me recently and that's why he's popping up. So I'll do test trigger there and now we wanna get it into Airtable. So I'll select for the second step, Airtable. I'll pick the latest. I'll choose the event, create a record and continue. Now my Airtable account would be Airtable number two, and I'll select continue, and then select the base. So for me, the base is called Analyze Twitter. So I'll select Analyze Twitter here, and I'll pick the table, which is only one table, so it's pretty easy to find. And then it's gonna show me all the different fields I've already pre-set up within Airtable. You definitely wanna set up your fields in Airtable before building the Zap in Zapier. So now that we have to link the, to what, the information from Twitter to Airtable, so we have the table here, but the Twitter handle is gonna be the, follow, the follower screen name here. So I'll pick that. The name here is gonna be the follower name. Link in bio, and this is the bio, like their, so you can see it's a little bit confusing because it says follower URL. Initially I thought it was like, this is like their profile link, but it's really not. This is the URL that's living in their bio. And then their bio would be their dis follower description profile image which probably isn't that useful but I just included just for kind of for fun profile image then their follower count which might be useful maybe not but in this case I'm still gonna have it and here's their follower count and then the Twitter profile here I don't want to touch it because that's the button that I have a formula connected to it so Airtable is doing the data processing there for me automatically so with all of those fields completed now and now I'm gonna hit continue and test the action. So it'll send the record from Twitter to Airtable using Zapier. So I'll hit test con and continue here. And you can see it's sending it. it. Says it was successful. So let's go into Airtable itself. And you can see here we have Aaron's Twitter handle. We have his name. We have his profile link as a button here in Airtable. We have the link that's in his bio, which Twitter has formatted. But all it is is just the automate all the things website. We have his bio from Twitter. We have his profile image that Twitter has formatted and we have his follower count. 
Now, this is not a lot of information, but there's a couple of things that I think are really helpful. One is the bio information. Now, let's say you had a hundred different followers here in Airtable. What you could do is actually download all this information as a CSV and to do that, all you have to do is go to this view look here and then download CSV. You can then take that CSV and upload it to a word cloud generator and actually see what are the keywords that you're following has in their bios. So for example, one of the things that Aaron has is in his bio is no code. So if no code is one of the audiences you want to hit or one of the keywords you want to hit on Twitter, that's a good thing. That's good if it's showing up in the word cloud. If it's not, that would be a little bit concerning because maybe your audience actually isn't the no code community. It also can be helpful in actually finding other keywords that you might not be thinking about when it comes to engaging with others in the Twitter community. For example, maybe there's a new tool that you don't know about and it popped up on your word cloud because it was in someone's bio. So this can be a nice little trick to actually help you find others to engage with on Twitter. The second piece of information that might be helpful to you is the follower count. And the follower count can be helpful to help you create your own CRM and Airtable for your Twitter following. To do this, what I'm gonna do is actually create a new grid view and I'm gonna name it over a thousand followers. Now, you might only wanna engage with those that have over a thousand followers because you know they're legit, they're on Twitter, and they're not bots. And what it'll do is actually, if you create this filter, if I actually hit filter, add condition, and hit follower count is greater is equal to or greater than a thousand. So you'll see Aaron will show up because he has over a thousand followers. And anyone that follows you that has over a thousand followers will show up in this particular view. And if you want to get more comp complicated with this, you actually create you know, like more interactions here and other columns here. So that way you actually can see, am I engaging with the people that are following me on Twitter and actually help you build your audience and create a more engaged audience. So you could create a very basic CRM for your Twitter following right here in Airtable. The last thing that I want to mention is that you could create, if it's just, it's just more for fun, is that you could create an app here in this app section of Airtable and just have a follower followers average. So you can see here it says 4915, which is Aaron's following. But if I had another person in here, let's say they had zero, it only, it would jump down to a little over 2000 followers. So you can see, kind of see what's your audience, like what's their follower count and see the average of that and see how influential is your audience and they may be more second or third degree factor. It's probably not that important, but if you just kind of want that data just for fun, it's pretty easy to go get. All you have to do is create a summary app and Airtable in this app section and it's right there. This video is just a starting point for integrating your Twitter marketing strategies and Airtable. You could schedule your tweets and even manage your entire content calendar in the same base in Airtable. You can even use similar strategies of Airtable and Zapier with other social media platforms. Again, if you want to use the Airtable template yourself, you can grab a copy of it using the link down below. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give it a like. And if you're looking for more content like this, you can check out other videos on this channel like this one here.